here we go. You seem to really like my Nutella video. So today we are only going to eat peanut butter for 24 hours. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get going. Okay, so we have just finished working out. Workout description will be right there. The best leg day I've had for a while. I think we burned already like 1,300 calories and we are well over like 10,000 steps already. So this is gonna be a very high calorie day. And much like the Nutella video, we did stop off at Tesco's to pick up the goods. We have two, you can see it's 700 grams of the absolute poverty peanut butter from Tesco's, like 285 for this huge jar. So again, 100 grams is 634 calories. So again, 3,500. 500 calories per tub. So let's crack the first one open. You can see brand new tub. Boop. Peel off the wrapper. This is absolute deja vu. Flashback. <laughs> Peel off the wrap. <laughs> Deja vu, boo dee boo So as usual, we did bring a spoon because of course we keep spoons in our cars. So without further ado, let's get cracking into the first spoon. Whoa. Something's missing here. Correct, because although there were a ton of haters on my Nutella video, to you haters, you know what I have to say? F you! <laughs> there were actually quite a few of you who were very friendly saying, Scott, we would have allowed you to have a bit more variety than just baguettes with your Nutella. So that's what we're going to do today. Of course, we're still going to have all of the peanut butter, but we are going to add a little bit more variety in what we spread the peanut butter on. So although I could have started off with the baguettes, I started off with those for the Nutella video. So instead, we are going to start off with these cinnamon raisin bagels. There's five in there. Again, I don't know how many I'm going to have, but I thought they looked pretty good. They were only like 61 cent. So without further ado, let me get out of this sweaty workout gear, have a shower and sort this creeper mustache out and check in with you at meal number uno which is gonna be four. We didn't go for the five of the bagels. So we have 155 grams of peanut butter on the four bagels. So we're gonna put those on top, spread it over, and then you know the deal. We go full on Chromecast and chill mode on my own because I have no mates and I have nothing better to do than eat peanut butter for 24 hours. So before I forget, we did weigh in this morning. We were sitting in at about 76 0.7 and 8.6% body fat if I remember correctly so still hella shredded well maybe not shredded but lean and ready to eat our peanut butter bagels so we have our five bagels full of peanut butter let me get chrome casting and chilling and see you all in a jiffy so time lapse coming in three two one So, it's a lot different to the Nutella. It's a far more sort of saltier taste. But yeah, they were actually pretty good to be honest. We got through all four of them and this is the last bite of the last one. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna go for next. I might go for pancakes or I could even go for the baguettes or a scone. Ooh, the scone. <laughs> But nonetheless, you will find out. Macros for that meal will be right there. You seem to like when I put them in the corner as I go. So yeah, this is the last bite. Here we go. Mm. Ah. Oh my God, I literally went through like a liter and a half just with that. They were very salty. So yeah, that is the first meal. God knows how many calories I'm gonna have, but I will check in with you at meal number two. So what is up family? Hashtag goals, driving a Porsche 911. Hopefully one day I'll be able to upgrade my shitty little Peugeot. But as you can see, we're at the motherland numero due because we're actually about to go in and do the full on weekly grocery haul. So that was a great success. We picked up our groceries, but I need to be quick because I have Halo Top ice cream in the back and I don't want it to melt. But yes, we did bring our tub of peanut butter on the go to work our way through because I knew I'd be able to pick something up to smother some juicy peanut butter on. So I did have a little bit of a quick look. Scones are very, very tempting, but guys, this combo is gonna be absolutely lethal. Correct. Sugar ring donuts. How did I not think of this before? Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Sugar ring donuts with peanut butter. How have I never thought of that before? I don't think I'll go for all four, but I might get like two or three and then save the rest for later. And of course, I managed to steal some of the deli cutlery. These are little plastic spoons and knives. So the plan of action is just to go full on potato mode, cut these open, smother a bit of peanut butter, bang them out the way like <laughs> and then move on to the rest of the day. So here we go. <sighs> Oh my god, guys, these are very, very fluffy, very soft. Shit. 
So I'm looking forward to this, so let's cut this. Oh my god, this knife is so shit. Oh my days. Okay, the angle's there, perfect for the YouTube. Man, it's not my day today. The angles for the YouTubes, we're cutting through this one very nicely. There we go, open it up, woo! Then we have our tub of peanut butter. Let's scoop out some of this. So there we go, a nice bit of peanut butter in there. Probably go back for a bit more. Jesus Christ, this knife is absolutely fucking pathetic. Give the spoon a go, this, ah, there we go. That's a much better. Pop that on the other side. That should do this one anyway. Oh my God, this is full of peanut butter. There we go, lick the spoon like your mama told you. Mm. Mm. Comment below, are you crunchy or a smooth peanut butter fan? Uh, personally, I don't really mind. They sort of taste the same to me. So here we go. Donut with the peanut butter little bum hole right there. Let's see what this is like. Mm. Oh my. Oh my days. Holy shit, guys. That is unreal. Try this out. If you have it, I'm sure you do. It's a very, very cost-effective way of getting in your calories. Mm. The donuts are good. There we go, a nice bit of peanut butter. Spread it over with your finger. <laughs> mm. Isn't YouTube such a weird platform? <laughs> people literally watching other people eating peanut butter donuts in a car, enjoying it, subscribing to a channel, and showing your love. So, thank you if you are watching this last bite of the first one. Mm. Okay, so here we go. I think I will cut open another one. That was fairly good. I might even get three, but definitely two. Donut numero due, ready to go. Can you see my eye in there? Hello. <laughs> so there we go, full of peanut butter. Pop that on the top. And here we go. Oh my God, look at my hands, guys. Mm. The sugar makes it go down a lot easier to be on it. <coughs> the sugar of the donuts makes it go down a lot easier. It's not just a lump of like fat. So yeah, you definitely need some carbohydrates to complement the fat. Otherwise just eating peanut butter out of the jar would be absolutely dreadful. I'm not doing that, guys. I know I'm up for anything, but I do sort of have I'm up for anything for sure, but I do still have my limits, so here we go. Mm. Look at that bad boy. Last bite of the third one, nice little bit of peanut butter sitting on top. Cheers! Mm. But anyway, that is that. I am not gonna go for the other two. That was a nice little pit stop. My ice cream is melting in the back, so I will check in with you at meal number three. For which I might as well get a few more steps in, burn a few more calories through non-exercise activity thermogenesis. But we are gonna go down too little, and you already know, we have to play the little game now. I have no idea, I can't remember what my current record is. I'll probably overlay it on the screen or something. Oh baby, we smashed, oh no. We smashed that at the park. We were at little, two minutes and 34 seconds. So that is the time I have to beat. So here we go, three, two, one. <gasps> we're doing good guys. One minute and 20 seconds in. And literally, I feel like I'm running like Usain Bolt, but I'm probably running like a snail because I did 600 reps of lunges today and I can't feel my legs. Okay, so here we go. Two minutes and 55 seconds. Did I beat it? I do not know. Comment below, did I beat it? Hopefully I did, but we are home to the motherland looking for something to smother some peanut God, there's people looking at me very strangely. We're gonna find something to smother some peanut butter on and check back in with you when I get home, so. So we went for the buttermilk pancakes. I was gonna go for the scones, but their baker aisle was very, very empty. So we do have our tub of peanut butter on the go, and these are only very small, so we're gonna try to bang out all eight of them and do the staple sort of pancake sandwich. So we're gonna cover half of those with peanut butter. There you go, just a nice little coating on four of them before we put that on top. Worked out at 75 grams of the peanut butter, so without further ado, pop on the top, what, what the hell? Pop on the tops, and here we go, all ready to go. We have a new bujel. <laughs> Time lapse coming in three, two, one. Okay, 
They were good. The key was the sweetness, especially with the donuts. I find that with the donuts, that when you compliment it, the peanuts are very, well, this one is anyway, it's very salty, so it's almost like savory. It's like 91% roasted peanuts. Very healthy. <laughs> but yeah, the donuts and the sweetness of the pancakes makes it go down a lot easier than the bagels. So I might sort of regret going for a baguette later on. That's sort of savory and an absolute bomb. But yeah, nonetheless, we will see what we go for later on. What time is it? Quarter past five. So my plan of action is to leave this a hefty amount of time until dinner, which will be an absolute bomb. So here we go. Last bite of the pancakes. Mm. I don't know if you can see it, but pretty much halfway through the tub of peanut butter. Again, no way we're gonna get through this one. Well, again, who knows? Stay tuned, like the video, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> but yeah, that is that. Again, macros will be up in this corner. Oh shit, I forgot to do that for the donuts. But yeah, macros for this meal will be up there in the corner and I will check in with you at meal number four. Firstly, keep calm and have a wonderful life. That's a very good motto to live by, but we are doing some client emails, and I thought, why not make this a full-on potato day? We have some chocolate peanut butter flavor drops. Put them in our coupon cafe. Boop, 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 boop. Whoop, perfect. Let's give it a little bit of a mix. And here we go, cheers. <sighs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh man, that's good. But yeah, we are doing some client programs. Shane Black, I am moving on to your diet portion. Look at all the shit you get with just the diet portion. I've done your training program. But for those unaware, Shane, you're in my gym, so if you wanna go through this, I can actually sit down and go through everything with you. But yeah, if you wanna sign up, please send me an email and I will attach all of the information, the most comprehensive coaching service you will ever receive. <sighs> So yeah, that is the plan of action. I'll probably keep going for another hour and a half or so and check in with you at dinner at around nine o'clock. So here we go, 8.47. And this is what we have. Realistically, it was always gonna happen, but we did go for a huge baguette. We picked that up while we were in the motherland. Numero uno, little, of course. So for tracking purposes, let's weigh this out. Just have a look. 400 grams, perfect baguette. Oh! Then in terms of the tub of peanut butter, what an angle, you can see we have like a quarter or like a third of the tub left. So you know the deal, we're gonna slice it down the middle and see how much peanut butter we get through. And there you have it fam, 207 grams of the peanut butter. It might not look a lot, but that is a lot of peanut butter guys. So you know the deal. Time lapse coming in, actually before, if you have gone this far in the video, comment FitFam, after all, peanut butter is a universal FitFam food. <laughs> comment FitFam, I really do appreciate you. So here we go, oh my God, I am lucky that my appetite picks up later on in the day. So yeah, I'm actually feeling okay. I think this could be achievable, but yeah, that does look very dense. It's a far different texture and sort of feeling than the Nutella, but here we go. Time lapse coming in, three, due, uno. this moment that he knew. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Bit of real talk. Yes, I did have a nosebleed, okay? Probably due to all of these calories just heating up my face. I'm getting so warm and whenever that happens, I do sort of find that it is like a trigger to these nosebleeds. I am like prone to nosebleeds, but nonetheless, we are back to the baguette. We got halfway through and I do have a shit ton of tissue. So what I'm gonna do is try bang it out, but I'm telling you now that if it starts again, I am probably just gonna stop this, okay? So here we go. Time lapse coming in three, two, one. Please nose. Hold up. <laughs> survived that one unscathed and we finished the peanut butter baguette in style again don't worry that nosebleed shit happens to me all the time I'm sort of prone to nosebleeds but yeah definitely full and I do have a little plan for later on but I think waiting that nice like three hour break definitely did me the world of good I'm probably gonna do that for the next macro capper meal and then hopefully bang out this whole jar of peanut butter but yeah we are down to the last little bite of the baguette. So here we go, cheers. Mm. 
that is that. Please give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. That is something you definitely won't see on every channel. Someone eating a peanut butter baguette that is a meter long, getting a nosebleed halfway through and then banging it out in style. <laughs> so that is that. The show must go on. So let's finish this video off and check in with you at that macro capper. All alone again, sitting in my car, half past one, with a belly full of donuts and peanut butter. <laughs> Oh, ever since I've started doing these raw ones, uh, you seem to really like them. So again, we're going to try to keep this an absolute whopper of a one take. But, correct, we did finish off the day with the two leftover sugar-coated donuts. Again, this wasn't a calorie challenge. Um, I was quite full, so those were sort of suffice. The option was there to fit in the old bagel as well, but I didn't really want a bagel. I wanted something sweet, so we went for the two leftover donuts. Uh, with about 50 grams of peanut butter. That was a portion that was enough. That's probably the portion I'll track for those Dunn's ones. I didn't really weigh those out. Uh, but yeah, then we popped those. Oh my God, we popped them into the microwave. And seeing as though they're sugar coated, the old sugar went through the old process of crystallization. <laughs> and it just melted all over <laughs> all over the top. And of course the peanut butter melted inside, so that was an absolute game changer. But yeah, that is how we finished off the day. Definitely been a long one. Oh my God, I can feel the doms kicking in in my legs already. But yeah, that was that. See you all tomorrow. <laughs> and that is a wrap, my family. Another 24 hour challenge banged out the way. <laughs> I love doing that. But yeah, you know the deal. It is the next day. We've just finished working out. Overall, the workout, <laughs> to be honest, all I could taste in my sweat was fucking peanut or like very salty sort of tasting sweat. Not very nice. But yeah, the workout was really good. Obviously, I ate a ton of calories yesterday, but there's one thing. My body literally does just feel like it's been run over by a steamroller. I mean, doing 631 reps of lunges yesterday did not help. And the old nervous system definitely took a pounding, but we plowed through. So let's wrap up this video. We only ate peanut butter for 24 hours so there is the final jar and that's going to bring me on to my macros well looking back actually i realized i didn't rigidly weigh out the done stores meal but seeing as i use pretty much the same amount of peanut butter as my macro capper i'm going to track that at 50 grams which means we had 537 grams of the 700 gram uh, tub of peanut butter bringing us to a, a pretty much 7,000 calories 246 grams of protein 628 grams of carbs and 350 grams of fat so i am hoping that hasn't scarred me for life for peanut butter. I do like peanut butter, but even just smelling that gives me a little bit of a... <laughs> So yeah, maybe I'll take a little bit of a break from the old peanut butter from my oats for the next week or so. But yeah, let's move on to the weigh-in. Because as you'd expect, we did have quite a big spike. It was much like my Nutella one. You can sort of expect it. It's quite a dense food. But you saw yesterday we were at 76.7 with 8.6% body fat. Well, today, this morning, it was a late weigh-in as well. 78.1 and 9.2% body fats. But don't worry, Scotty, because the compensation for that actually happened yesterday. It was quite an active day yesterday. I'll put an overview here. I think we burned like... 5,000 or 5,100 calories of those 7,000 calories. So yeah, we are still able to do these, but I am definitely running out of ideas. So if you have any, please comment them below. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel for your boy who got a nosebleed, but it'll make for a good clickbait thumbnail. I could be like only eating peanut butter for 24 hours. I had an adverse effect. <laughs> but yeah, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you all have a good day and see you all in the next video. Boop.